my ankle really hurts. And I'm going to explain to you why that is relevant. <sighs> oh God. I feel it is my duty to make a video about skate park etiquette. You know why? Because I just got my ankle smashed in. You know how my board hit me in the ankle. That's not the point. The point is, this guy cut me off during my line. He comes into my line and he f***s <laughs> up everything. Like the f***ing gentleman I am, I bail out to avoid smacking this motherfucker. I wish I smacked into him because then at least he would be hurt too. F*** <laughs> you. If I had a horn, I'd be honking it right now because you're an asshole. You can't just f***ing go across the f***ing ramp like that. You gotta have some kind of f***ing warning or you wait till there's nobody on the f***ing ramp. So I was about halfway down this ramp. This guy cuts me off. So I bail out because I'm a gentleman. Of course I have a ton of forward momentum. And somewhere in the midst of all this, my longboard. Yeah, that's right. I was at the skateboard on a super f***ing heavy longboard. My longboard comes screaming down the ramp and hits me in the ankle and I think something might be broken. Well, I'm pissed off and I'm in a lot of pain. So this is what is possessing me to make a video about s skate park etiquette. First of all, do not come into somebody's line. Do not fucking do that. Second of all, you should always wear helmet and pads. I was just coming back on the bus from university. I was like, oh look, the skate park. It's not too busy. I'm gonna go get a couple runs in. And so I don't have any of my pads, so I can't bail out to my knees. So then I ended up having to bust a distance that is easily long boardable. And what the fuck was that? You do not know pain until you have been hit in the, your back foot by a board. Mongo pushers, you obviously don't understand this. Well, you push Mongo, f you, your mother doesn't love you. Mongo pushing Mongo pushers. What is going on? Today was my first day back in university, so you can see why I'm a little stressed. Alright, so this is my board, right? This is the ground. So if I'm like, standing on my board just, just chilling, go to the fucking flat ground part. Don't do your fucking kickflips on the ramp landing. That's just annoying. Get out of here. How do I tech deck? Uh, if you're just like holding your board, no that one. Just kind of holding your board like that. And that's the ground. That means, like, you're not going. Be talking to your buds. And what that means is get the f*** out of the way of the people who are actually skating. Position number two of your skateboard is you got your foot, you got one foot on, uh, on the ground, you got another foot on your board, on the tail of your board. That means you're getting ready to go. That really means you're getting ready to start your line. This is the last one. If your board is down and you're standing just chilling kind of on the tail like that, that means you are, like, just about to go. As soon as it's clear, you're f***ing gone. That's what different board positions mean at the skate park. Now, when I was there, nobody was respecting these rules of the park. They're not really rules. They're kind of unwritten guidelines to skating at skate parks. But it's the general consensus. It's dangerous, man! I mean, like, skateboarding is dangerous enough as it is. You don't need to add any more danger to it unless you're f***ing Johnny Knoxville, which you're not. Unless you are Johnny Knoxville, then hey Johnny Knoxville, you want to feature me in the next Jackass? <sighs> oh god, it hurts. Blood in my good sushi socks. And I'm pissed off because they're my favorite socks and that blood is not going to come out. <laughs> this is Why did my mind just go cartoon graffiti dick? Why did my mind go there? We will never know.